Oh, all three of them going. Oh! 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 Come on, we'll take it down. Oh! Dang on catfish! It's kind of chilly. What's up, y'all? We out here at Santa Fe Lake, man. We about to do some wintertime catfishing. See if I can get my first wintertime cat. Yes, sir. I think we gonna fish along these down here by the dam. They got a whole bunch of rocks going all the way down. I think I wanna fish it. And we got some structure over there. I don't know what that is, but I think that's a dam or something. Some type of, I don't know. It look like structure, so we gonna fish that. I don't know what it is, but it look juicy. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's see if Santa Fe bring us some luck. See if I can land my first winter time cat this year. Gonna make a walk down there. Get over this. Ugh. Yes, sir. It's been a minute, y'all. What's up, man? Got them new sling and base hoodies available right now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I've been working hard on that website. So yeah, man, y'all go slide through there and check it out. Grab you some of that official merch, man. Yes, sir, Slinging Base Nation. We taking over all the banks. City to city, state to state, wherever you at, man. We taking over the banks. Yes, sir. Man, it's some activity. Ooh, I see a nice little log jam back there. I ain't walking back there, though. Maybe I'm gonna come back another day and try that spot back there. Cause that look juicy too. Yes, sir. Ah, yeah. Right up on it. Ooh. Let me set this stuff down. Get my chair set up here. Got somewhere to lean my rods. Yeah, that walk wasn't that bad. Yeah, y'all. We're gonna try this spot, man. Let's see if these rocks. What about these rocks? Is they? Mm -hmm. They seem pretty stable. I think I can land some fish over here. I never fished this spot up here either. It's a pretty big, pretty big lake. So, yeah, man, I'm gonna get set up, get baited up. We're gonna sling some bass. Yes, sir, man. Man, let's get this bass stuff out. Cutting board, I got my knife out. All right. For today's bait, brought along some frozen shad. Caught these in October. Some little thread fins. During the winter time, I like to downsize my base, go real, you know, something smaller than what I usually throw out there. So I think these is gonna work good today. I don't know. And then I also bought some milk just in case. I want some options today. I brought some shrimp to dim. Yes, sir. Last time I did catch a channel catfish up here on this. It was like, he wasn't that big and it was warmer outside. So we're going to see if they like it in the winter time too. See if it's a good bait option. You know, a good alternate to bring in case they don't want the, the primary bait like the shad out here in Kansas. So yeah, man, I'm going to, Put shrimp on one and then I'm gonna put probably some shad on the other two rods. So yeah man, let's get baited up. Get this bait cut up real quick. Alright y'all, I got that bait cut up. Go just cut the thread fin shads in half and then just pull the head off these shrimps. So yeah man, let's start with this. Let's go and get baited up. Yes sir. Alright, got that one on. 
All right, man. What's up, y'all? <laughs> Let's go and get baited up. Start slinging them good old baits. Yes, sir. All right, man. On this first setup, let me bring my bait over here. Yes, sir. On this first setup, we got a high low rig. We got a 20 pound main main line coming from my reel. And we use a 30 pound mono leader. We use an eight out Mustang offset demon circle hooks. I'll leave a link in the description. But yeah, man, a double hook rig. Dropper hoop on some dropper loops. And then we got a two ounce sinker at the bottom. So yeah, man, that's the setup on all the rods today. All high low rigs. It's my favorite rig to use during the colder months meaning the winter months so yeah let's go ahead and put some shrimp on here yes sir we're gonna throw the shrimp on this one yeah uh, they did i read in the comments somebody said hook it through the back first so i'm gonna do it that way so, try it that way shell wanted to come out that sucker look well, I guess we just get rid of it right I guess we leave that little tail on there alright we got that one on there that's the top hook let's grab this bottom hook We do this one the same way, hook it through the back first, they said. That's what they said in the comments. Hopefully that thing don't interfere. I'm gonna just pull the skin off this part too. Something like that, man. I guess that's what they say you're supposed to hook it backwards first i don't know to me it really don't matter but yeah we got some shrimp on there yes sir we got some shrimp on this hollow rig that shrimp the dimp we're gonna see if it produced today all right on this ripping lips rod same setup same style hooks everything the same Yes, sir. All right, we gonna throw some shad on here. Get that cut up shad. I like to put the put the headpiece at the bottom on the bottom hook. So I'm gonna put this body section up here. Man, what the hell? That shrimp, the dimp coming out them bugs. They gonna find that shrimp. All right, you're going to put this head on the bottom hook because that's how I like to do it. Yes, sir. Got that one baited up. Man, that's like such a nice winter day out here for December. Be a Christmas shopping and stuff. It's nice to get a break from all that just to come catfishing, man. That's what I love to do. That's where I'm having fun. I can just be me. Yes, sir. All right. Same thing as the last rig. We're going to put this body section on the top hook. Scales out there, something like that, and then jump down to that bottom hook. I'm gonna put that head on the bottom one. I can already smell it, they got some scent coming off. It's on dollar, starting to smell like that good old shad. 
Yes, sir. That's my favorite bait to use out here in Kansas. Can't go wrong with the shad. Yes, sir, man. It's been a good year, y'all. It's been a good year. Yes, sir. All right, man. Let's get these baits out there. Sling some of these baits. Yes, sir, man. Let's put these baits out there. All right. What are we doing for bait placement today? We got this big old, uh, whatever it is, it's structure. And we gonna fish it. I think I'm gonna put a bait on the left side of it. Might put one right in front of it. And then put one out this way. So we gonna try that. Yes, sir. I like that arrangement. Let me walk down here a little bit. I'm not actually trying to throw it inside of that thing because it look like it's opening at the top. Y'all comment down below if y'all know what this structure is in front of me I'm looking at. I ain't never seen nothing like it. But we gonna fish it. All right, let's see if I can put a bait right there on the left side. Boom. Ah, oh, not bad. Not bad, see, stock? Slaying them baits. Yes, sir. I put it right over there, right where I wanted it. Nice. Lock that down. Make sure that line nice and tight. Sweet. All right. Now with this bait, I'm gonna try to put it right out in front of it. Right out in front of that structure. We're gonna call this the shallow bait. Oh. Oh. oh, oh, I think I, we already hooked up, y'all. We already hooked up. Oh, we already hooked up. That was quick. One of the wintertime catfish. Ah, he just popped off right there. It was a little bitty one. He was small. I seen him. One of them little bitty daddies. Oh, that was sweet. Hey, right, I put it right where I wanted it. Oh my goodness. Well, that sucker hit fast too. Whew, that'll get your adrenaline up. Yes, it will. Man, that was quick. No, oh, it's gonna be a good day, y'all. All right, let's put that bait back down there. I need to put it right back over there. Right back where it was. Let's see. It might be a hole right there. See if I can get some more out of there. All right. Put it right back over there. Boom. Woo, that's nice. Right over there on that left side. That shrimp that them got hit, hit first. That was quick. That was quick, y'all. I ain't even lying. I couldn't even get the other rod in there. Oh, it's going to be a good day, hopefully. All right. I got my heart rate up. Yes, sir. I just looked back and seen a pole. The pole tip bobbing. All right. Let's put this one right in front of this. This thing right here. Let me walk down here. Whew. My heart rate up. All right. Uh, that's, that's not bad. I mean, it's cool. It's not in front of it, but it's okay. I can, I can work with that. I can work with that. I don't know why. Maybe because of the angle I'm sitting at. I don't know. We're going to call that the shallow bait. All right. Let's get this one out there. We're going to put this one on the right side of this. This little structure here. All right. Let me come down here a little bit. Got some shad on here. I think that shad going to produce today. Boom! 
Whew, that's in a good spot. Oh, I'm getting another bite. I can't even get no baits in the water. I'm getting bites. This one in a nice spot too. This one was just getting hit, I think. I seen a line down there moving. Jesus Christ. Let's see, come on, hit it. Take it down. Oh, I think he hooked. He might be hooked. Might be a little. I'm gonna try to get him on a pull down or something. Uh oh, he's still there. Oh, this one getting hit. check this bait real quick that one got hit quick make sure these other rods ain't getting hit mm -hmm. yeah something down there i'm gonna put that back out there oh my goodness They got to win over this line. I did. Hey. Let's get this out back out there. Is that a bird's nest? In fact, I got a bird's nest in here. Hopefully this don't stink up the place. All right. Try to put this one right in front of it. Oh, snaps. Right in front of it. Boom. Boom. Yes, sir. I'll put it right there in front of it. That got to be a good spot. Oh, this already getting hit. I told you. They hugging that structure. It's already getting hit. I must have dropped it right on top of some catfish. Oh, see? It's getting hit. Oh, the line went slight. I heard some noise behind me. Mm -mm. There's something down there though. I don't think I got it. Dang, that's crazy. Something down there though. It just ain't big enough to swallow this hook. I might switch up the make sure them base is good. Yeah, they good. I'm gonna put it right back out there in that same spot. It's something out there. Whatever it is. Try to catch it. Boom! Right out there again in front of there, huh? Oh, don't fall. See if he'll hook itself. I'm gonna wait this time. See whatever it is if they go ahead and hook theyself. Man, it's such a steep drop right there too. 
Mm -hmm. Let's go and get this bait out there. Come down here. Get this one on the right side. Boom. Yes, sir. Swinging them baits. It's real rocky down there. All right, man. We finally got them baits situated. Let's see if we can put something on the bank, man. I hope y'all having fun, man. Y'all stick around. We're going to do some more catfish. Yes, sir. back you gonna hook yourself I ain't, I ain't messing around with it oh oh I got two going that's sad Oh, all three of them going. Oh! 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 Come on, we'll take it down. Oh! Dang on catfish! What the heck? in the whiskers. All my baits is getting hit. Oh! Little sneaky buzzers. Man, why don't you... I think I missed him. Some little out there, man. I need some turtles. Man, all these baby bites. Mm -hmm. I can't call it. There's gotta be some little ones down there. I'm getting hit on all sides. I'm about to put on some smaller hooks if I need to. All right, let's put this one back out there. Boom! Yes, sir, right over there by that structure. There's something holding up over there. And they ain't leaving. Oh, I'm gonna catch them. Yeah, if this don't work, we're gonna have to move to plan B. Oh, they ain't taking it down. Come on, man. That shrimp to dimp got hit. This one getting hit too. Maybe if I stand in the middle. All right, come on, man. Whatever, man. We are gonna see if we can hook up on something. Serious. It's almost like that little bitty fish trying to pluck my bait off. Like this metal rod, it ain't being gone, so it might not got no bait. Oh.
Yes, sir, we hooked up on one. What the heck being down there? What I tell y'all, one of them little baby cats. Told you. <laughs> Look at that, man. That little baby cat. I told you. I knew it was something down there little. Look at that little sucker. That's how big that first one was I caught. This probably that same one. Probably a bunch of babies down there. Hugging up on that structure. Yeah, first little wintertime channel cat. This thing is a baby. I mean, I don't even think he a pound. I told y'all. What I tell y'all was some little, something little down there. This the same size as that first one. Little bitty old baby cat. These are the ones that poke you too. Man, we gonna get him back down there trying to steal my bait. You gonna have me moving spots, buddy. Yes, sir. Let's go get him back. All right. Peace, little dog. Go get way, way bigger. <laughs> Sweet. And that was cool. That wasn't what I imagined my first uh, wintertime cat this year to be, but I'll take it. We catfishing, man. We got one on the shrimp to them. Ain't nothing wrong with that, man. Our little man gonna be big. We catfishing, man. Hello, catfish. I'll watch out for them snakes now. Yeah, man. Ooh, try to get me, huh? Oh, that thing's trying to get me. Yes, sir. Not bad, man. Not bad. I'm gonna get some more shrimp on there. Put it back out there. Yeah, I knew it was something out there, man. I knew it. It might be some more of them down there too. I ain't lying the way that thing was, it was going left and right. My shad rod ain't got hit though. I don't know. We got another piece of shrimp though. That top piece still look cool. I'm gonna go ahead and put some more shrimp on here. Might put this one out in a different spot. Sweet. We got some fresh shrimp over there. Push this piece back down. Yep. They going for that bottom hook. That top piece still clean. I think I'm going to put this one out to the left. We got this break line where the current start picking up. I'm going to put it out more to the left. See if we can get out on the left side. More to the left. Then I'm going to check these other baits. Boom. Yes, sir. See if we can get something over on this side. A little bit further out there. Sweet. I'm gonna get these other rods about five minutes, then we're gonna check them. Yes, sir. Y'all stick around, we're gonna do some more catfish. Yes, sir. Ah. 
got me. Ugh. They all on the back side of that structure. Another one of them little ones. He was on that structure too. I caught him right on the back side of it. Little baby catfish. Boy, they got some babies up here. He said, little baby. Oh, calm down. Calm down, little buddy. Yep. Another one of them small when he wanted that shad was was hooky bite. Not the only find out. He got me all tangled up there. Yeah, some I knew it was some little ones down there. I caught another one off that structure. It must be a whole bunch of these size ones. Right here up on this little structure. So yeah, I think that proved my theory that it is a bunch of little ones. So that's why I put the mother base a little bit off to the side of the structure. Maybe, you know, some, some bigger catfish around here. They just not right here up on this structure like I thought they would be. But it is some catfish in there. All right, little buddy. He was bigger than that first one. So, I mean, we, we moving up the charts. Slowly. Hopefully we can pull something big off this spot because I don't really feel like moving. I just kind of want to relax and catfish today. I ain't really trying to do too much. Hmm, let's see what. Check this hook out. See what's hooky, bitch. Oh, he went for the top hook. That's the first one on that top hook. I still got my headpiece on here, so. He went for that body section. Man, not bad at least. We catching some catfish. Good old wintertime catfish, man. See if we can get on something bigger. Yes, sir. Let me see. Oh, that shrimp the dimp down there. Let's see it. This one ain't that big. I'm gonna just cut the tail off this one. Stick it like this. Grab that top hook. Put something down on it. Just like that. That works. A little bigger piece of bait. Figure out where I want to put this bait now. Oh, that's that shrimp to dimp. I'm going on with the shrimp to dimp now. I'm gonna put it out. I'm gonna just pick this, pick up on this rod. We gonna move it on on the other side of this rod. Yeah, we gonna put this one down here. I think I'm still getting what? Look at that shrimp that down. It's down there getting dink tapped. I'm gonna put this one down here. Start moving my scent trail this way. Boom. Nice. I want this bait back down here. Yeah, I'm gonna move my scent trail this way. Hopefully get on some catfish this way. Down this, down here. Oh, sure the damn guy here. Oh, 
Keep going in. You coming real aggressive, huh? That's the best you got, man? Trying to steal my shrimp to them. Man, I got this whole little area centered up. I've been fishing here for like an hour and a half now. Man, this lake ain't that big, so it's gotta be catfish lurking everywhere. It's just a matter of if they hungry or not, they gonna bite. I mean, some days you just don't know. Some days they like biting, some days they don't. Some days the, the nice size ones come out and play. Some days the smaller ones come out. It's always different. Every trip is different when you catfishing. It ain't never the same. I don't think I ever had a catfishing trip that went the same. Like every time it's something different. The weather doing something different. You might have a different bait. You might have some different rods with you. Um, it's always different, so that's something you got to get used to. We're going to sit tight, see if something smack down on one of them baits. <laughs> yes, sir. Sir. Oh, we finally pulled something. We finally pulled something decent out that structure, man. This one decent. That's what I'm talking about. I knew it was something decent down there. Yes, sir. I seen him. I knew he was hooked. They just biting funny up here. I ain't been fishing up here in a while. So I forgot how they be biting. Yeah, much better catfish, man. For a three, four pounder. Much better. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. It's the official first winter catfish on slinging baits. Yes, sir. All right. That one. This one is a nice size. This is what I usually catch out here in Kansas. This is a nice size one. And he an eater too. Yeah, man, we got one on the bank, y'all. First little winter cat. Man, nice catch. I'm gonna get him back. Hopefully we can get something bigger before I get out of here. Nice little catch, man. This is uh, one of them. Winter catfish. First winter catfish of 2021. Slinging bait style. Yes, sir. Caught him on that. Right off that structure. I put that bait probably like, I don't know, like 10 feet. 10, 12 feet off that structure. Whatever this cement piling or whatever they call it. I'm going to get him back there. We'll do an easy release on this dude. Alright, man. Peace. So get bigger, Doc. Yes, sir. That one came off that shad. So we caught one. Did they all come on shad today? I don't remember them, them smaller ones we pulled off. This structure we been fishing earlier than ones. Them was some baby ones though, but that one, that was a decent catch. Yes, sir, I ain't gonna be, I can't complain about that. 
I figured them big ones, since the little ones was hugging it, I figured them big ones would be hanging out, like around it. Not that, not too far off of it though, cause maybe, you know, they gonna use it to ambush. Yes, sir. Got one on the bank. Another one on the bank. Can't be mad at that. We still got one more uh, shad, man. Let's go on. And put another shad on there. And put it right back out there. See what we can do. Yes, sir, man. Y'all stick around. We're going to do some more catfishing. Yes, sir. Whew. Man, I'm bike getting slow. All right, y'all. Probably about to head out of here, man. It's been a good day. Yes, sir. We did put some catfish on the bank. I hope y'all learned a thing or two about bank fishing and fishing structure in the wintertime. Yes, sir. Yeah, man, I just want to say thank y'all out there for watching. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button if you want to see more content like this. Do me another favor. Now, this rod going right here. I love y'all. Yeah, make sure you leave a line out while you packing up. But yeah, man, make sure y'all share this video. Make sure y'all stop by that new Slinging Bass website and grab some of that new Slinging Bass merch. Yes, sir. But yeah, man, I'm finna be out of here. Until the next time, Slinging Bass Nation, peace. <laughs>